Uh, just first wanted to apologize for not getting this up yesterday. I had a, a, a little, oh, just a little hiccup, so apologies for that. Um, so today we're talking all about the text tool in Photoshop and how it works and how we make it work. Um, first up, obviously you'll need to bring up an image. Um, the text tool has a couple of hiccups, so I'm just gonna kind of walk you through um, what they are and how to effectively avoid the frustration that you um, will feel, okay? So the keyboard shortcut is just T, um, or if you can't remember T, it's the T over here. It's one of the more easy ones. It's the text tool, it's the T, and the keyboard shortcut is T. Um, now, uh, again, you'll remember that if, we're, if ever we have this little notch over here, that means that we've got another option available to us. So if we were to right click on it, it lets us have two different type of text tools. Um, we work with the horizontal type tool more than anything. Um, now, very simply, um, it, it allows you to click and then it will allow you to type. Type, goodness, there we go. Okay, um, the, the first like major hiccup with the text tool is that you always have to click this check mark at the top of your screen whenever you're done. Click, just like that, okay? That lets Photoshop know, hey, I'm done with this text tool, with that text entry. It adds a layer over here, and it just says, hey, we're done, and this is now editable um, in Photoshop, okay? So you can um, resize it by hitting V on your keyboard or going to the Move tool, which is up here in the upper left-hand corner. And as long as you have Show Transform Controls selected, you're able to do things like resize it, okay? And the neat thing is, is that it will always scale, meaning that you won't lose resolution there. And then we can just hit Enter, and uh, it will apply that transformation, okay? Cool. All right, um, so you may have noticed that when we add a new text box, we have the, the uh, icon on the screen has a, a, a little gridded box around it, right? Now what that's telling us is that we can create a box like this, and then inside that box, it will confine the text to inside that box, which is useful if you have a specific or um, particular area that you need to um, work inside, um, like for an advertisement or something like that. Um, okay, so there we go. We can create a box like that. We can type a message, and then when we're done, we always click the check mark up here. That is the critical thing. Now I make a big deal about the check mark, but uh, there you can also hit escape on your keyboard, and that will do the same thing. But it's important to remember the check mark. Because anytime we make like an adjustment to this, like the font size or the font type or something like that, we always want to hit that check mark. And that, again, says to Photoshop, hey, I'm done. Okay? All right. Let's select that and delete it. Okay. Now, the text tool um, wants to work on what is called a path. Now, some of you might have noticed over here we have these things that are called paths. And we can create paths for the text tool to write on, or paths can be created out of something else. The easiest way to create a path is to use the pen tool, which is P over here, right below the text tool. Now, what this is, is it allows us to make a spot between two points or more points, okay? And we can also create bent lines if we hold down the, um, the mouse button when we create our next anchor point, right? So it's for creating straight and curved lines. More often than not, you really just want a straight line to work on for whatever reason. So let's put this on a diagonal, okay? And by doing that, by putting two anchor points, we have just made a path, okay? Now we can change it, bend it, do whatever, um, but let's just stick with a straight diagonal line here. Now that I have a path, I need to go back to my text tool to add text to that path, okay? So this is kind of like a selection tool in that when you leave it alone, it stays active. 
Now here's a fun thing about the text tool. You remember the box, the gridded, the little dotted box around my uh, text icon there. Watch what happens as I bring it across the path. It gets this little squiggly, swirly line there. And what that swirly line is telling me is that the text will now be applied to that path as soon as I click it like this, okay? So now I have text on a path. Um, excuse me, I'm gonna back out of that and I'm gonna put it in the middle. Now, there we go. I can write on a path, okay? And I can change the uh, font here by selecting it all. I really have been digging this font myself uh, lately. So, um, not condensed extra bold, just regular bold, my bad. Remember, we hit the check mark when we're done, okay? So, now I have text on a path. Right, so it gives me this nice diagonal here. Um, if I want to use the pen tool to create a curved line, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna hold that down. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go back to my text tool and I'm gonna click on the path. And now I have an arch of text. Sweet, hit the check mark and there we go. Now we've got this lovely thing here, okay? So paths. Paths are what uh, uh, text can sit on. Now we can create our own path by using the pen, right? Which I just showed you. You can use shapes. If you right click on those three dots here, if you right click on the three dots right here, you can come down to these shapes. And let's say we wanted a, uh, uh, just a circle, okay? Now, the first step you wanna do, because if you just go and make a circle, it's gonna do this, it's gonna fill it with white, which isn't very useful to us right now. The reason it's doing that is because right now it's working that it wants to create a shape and it will fill to white and it will have a stroke of nothing. Um, but we can create our path here if we just go from shape and then go to path. And I'm gonna make a circle around my little palm leaves. If you hold down shift on your keyboard, it will constrain it to a perfect circle. See how that's perfect? And then when I let it go, it gets all ovally. If I hit shift, it constrains it to a nice perfect circle. And I'm gonna just put it right there. And there we go. Now I have a path around my tree. I'm gonna go back to my text tool by clicking T or selecting T over there. I'm gonna wait till I have the wavy line and then click. And now I, now, I'm not Scottish, now I, have a wrapping text. Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet. And then we hit the check mark when we're done. There we go. Very nice, right? Okay, uh, another path that we can do. Again, there's, there's really, uh, there's many ways to do a path. So I'm just showing you three. We can use the pen tool. I just showed you how to use the shapes by selecting path. And last but not least, we're gonna use selection tools to create a path. If I go up to my selection tool, my favorite is W. Um, we can use object or quick select. Let's try, let's try quick select. Yeah, let's try quick select here. Uh, I'm gonna to go to the base here of the tree and I'm just gonna select that and you'll see those ants marching. As soon as I have those ants marching, I let go and I've got a nice selection of the tree trunk here. Now, with a selection tool, I can right click and then I can scroll down about five, six down to where it says make work path. And then it's gonna ask me what I want my tolerance to be. And you want this to be nice low. I think by default it's two, but one's better in this case. Okay, and then check it out. I've got uh, almost like I use the pen tool and create those little anchor points all the way around here. So now with this path, I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard. I'm gonna bring it uh, up to the tree until I get my squiggly line. I'm gonna go about the middle and then I'm gonna click again. Ooh, that's very large. Let's shrink my font a whole bunch. Whoop, there we go. And now I hit the check mark. Well, if I had typed that in, it's that, it's that non-word Latin stuff. But uh, the point is, is that I've got text that follows my selection tool uh, all the way around the tree there. So, 
excuse me. Text tool, like I know it's more like you'd think probably like a graphic design has little to do with like Photoshop, um, but we do end up using the text tool very frequently and it's kind of, uh, it's kind of just important to have a well-rounded knowledge of Photoshop and all the tools on your toolbar. So the assignment is to um, do three type of edits, okay? So you need to create a text tool, excuse me, t create a text, um, uh, just add text to an image. There we go, geez, that was hard to get out. Um, and the requirements are threefold. You need to have three different edits. The only one that I'm really concerned about is that you put your text on a path using one of the, uh, one of the manners that we talked about, okay? So that being said, uh, excuse me, to say that specifically is to choose either a shape here, use the pen tool here, or use a uh, selection tool and then hit make work path, okay? So put your text on a path and then you need to make two other edits that are up to you. So you can change the color, which I realize now I forgot to mention how to do that. Uh, when you add text here, and when it's highlighted like this is, you come up to the color picker up here. You click that, and then you can change the color like this, and now we have blue instead of red. Again, we hit the check mark. Okay, so apologies for that. That is how we change the color. Um, so you'll need to change the color. You can change the font like that. You can change the font size. You can change the uh, justification on the page, whatever, doesn't really matter to me. Um, just number one is that it needs to be on a path, okay? So first, maybe start with the pen tool, then use the text tool, wait for the squiggly line, click that. And by the way, I keep clicking on the left. You really wanna click in like the middle to get the most out of it, okay? And then we click the check mark when we're done and uh, you know, change the, uh, change the font color again. I've been digging that red lately, so I'm gonna go back to that. You've got mail. Darker red, maybe. Uh, man, about right there, cool, sweet. So now we have our, uh, you know, oop. Happy holidays, oop. Happy holiday, can't squeeze the S in there. Oh, where'd my red go? And then we can change it, uh, change the color, Call it that one, and then hit the check mark. Yay, okay. Sweet, so that's our assignment in brief. Three items, you need to number one, put it on a path. That's the most important thing. I need to see not a just a straight line like this. That's no good, okay? Um, need it to be on a path. Now, however you make that path, whether it's with the pen tool like this or whatever, that's great. Um, if it's using the selection tool, that's great. If it's around wrapping around the circle of a shape, that's great, but it needs to be on a path. Number two, change the color, change the font, change the font size, change the typeface, change whatever. It's up to you, okay? Uh, but three types of things, just need to be able to see that at a glance that you know what you're doing with the text tool. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you all very soon. Take care.